after you get the bumper cover reinstalled, you can see one of the tabs right there, and then the other one is over here. So there's really easy access to get to those to mount the light bar to the, the mounting tabs. You can access those up from behind here. And there's relatively easy access to get your hand up here behind the bumper cover to get your hardware installed. The tools needed are a three quarter inch wrench and a three quarter inch ratchet. The wiring for my lights is underneath. I found the easiest way to get under there is to take that lower engine cover off. Two wires here. I have them zip tied in a few places. the top of this plastic brace. Lower portion of the bracket that holds the light bar in place. As you can see, I had to trim a little bit of the opening here because it didn't totally clear this so it was pushing the bumper cover out at the bottom which made everything not quite fit very well so once I figured that out initially I pushed this down and it popped down and over, plate, over the bottom of this and then later on tonight I trimmed that a little bit so everything fits really well now did the same thing over here over on this side I had to trim a little bit more this shows the mounting of the light bar onto the brackets there's not a whole lot of clearance back here behind the light mounting tabs but if you needed more space to 
depending on the type of lights that you had, you could uh, unbolt this and put some spacers in between the two brackets. Down below there is my wiring. It's just tucked back in there for now. Once I get my lights mounted, I'll route that out to my lights.